Is this a, a perfect place to segue into curating? Sure. I oh, mean, as a container. Well, potentially, like, um, the curator is making. Did I just offend you, or was that? I'm no, this was a, checking your face. Look, okay. I was furrowing. Sorry. <laughs> um, I am very offended. Welcome back to another episode of Made Up. I'm your host, Danny Volk, and we are here in the home studio of Catherine Harvath. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. So, makeup. Yeah, I don't even know where to start, really. Yeah. You're a painter. I always make that correlation, painting and makeup, and maybe it's really ignorant. I don't know. Totally, but I, I was thinking, I was talking to a friend about uh, it's kind of its own field in its own right with an expertise and I would imagine a knowledge about how you layer these things on and how they act on the skin that I, I maybe have a similar uh, body of language about oil paint, but when it comes to this, yeah, I'm at point zero. For the next 10 minutes, my face will be your canvas. I can't wait. I can't wait. Danny, are you ready to be made up? Let's do this. <laughs> All right, what are your first thoughts? Well, okay, so I had a f I, I went through a few makeup ideas. One rejected possible idea was just, I, I, I love Divine, and uh, so I was looking at his amazing, like, giant triangular eyebrows and things, but then that just didn't feel very related to what I do in the end. So then I just decided to do, I mean, color is really important to me. I'm not sure why. It's kind of uh, intuitive or irrational. What's your favorite color? Green, definitely. I feel like there's the most variation in it. Like mm -hmm. you can get these kind of blue teals. You can kind of get these like hot, salty, like neon chartreuses. And yeah, just everything in between, kind of like milky and yeah, green definitely. Do you love nature? Is it like a <laughs> nature related thing? Uh, I don't know. I mean. Maybe it was lacking in the phoenix of your childhood. Tucson. 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 I think everyone just thinks Phoenix is the only town in Arizona. Is that what it is? <laughs> That's cool. That's or we cool. all have relatives there. Oh, everyone has an aging aunt or uncle in Phoenix. That is true. In, or like Mesa or something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no hate on the, on the aging snowbirds. Um, <laughs> so color. Mm -hmm. I think we get it. So yeah? the, things, the things that are missing in your life. You so maybe it told... wasn't so green down there. Sure, we can psychoanalyze Yeah, let's throughout. psychoanalyze it. What's your second okay. favorite color? Probably like a peachy orange. Mm hmm Yeah. Like a kind of like salmon-y Where's orange. that coming from? I think they look really nice together. Oh, who's this? <laughs> hey, Sis. <laughs> is this the kitty? This is my grumpy cat. Sissy, come here. This is funny. Yeah, sometimes I have studio visits here and she like, she is angry that we're not like cuddling or something. Oh. Anyway. So tell me what you're doing in your studio. I always make small paintings. That's kind of like a through line. I can kind of churn out these kind of like intuitive paintings where uh, they usually start with a drawing. I use kind of like masking layers of thick oil paint and I really like the uh, cold wax medium because you get this like matte finish and mm -hmm. this height, this kind of like thick paint. And you're also doing sculptural stuff though, right? Yeah. I tend to find or thrift found objects and then I alter them or combine them. Like I was really interested in the idea of this kind of like armature or contingent object like that has no real identity on its own. It's meant to hold something else up. I would find these weird candelabras and these weird um, racks for like, you know, outdated technology. And that shelves too has been a part of this kind of like rack idea. So for Expo, I built, um, we collaborated with the University of Chicago Press. I got this idea for leaning shelves and it was a way to hold color in the room. Um, but again, continued this idea of like this contingent object. This is kind of a stretch, but it's kind of how I think of like, it's similar to a recent corporate model, which essentially ha has no content. It's kind of just forms, empty forms, uh, in which like the content is user generated. Something like Facebook or UbuWeb obviously is like, um, it's just an empty form. It's just like coding that enables us to create everything. So they're actually in this weird way containers. Um, uh, and it's kind of brilliant in that they don't actually have to create much of anything except the, the space for other things to happen. This face, how do you like it? Uh, I'm enjoying it very much because I didn't think, I was a little nervous. I hit a couple roadblocks. But now I'm kind of using your stubble as like a resist on the lipstick. So I'm getting <laughs> this like, it actually, it, it is like painting. I do kind of use this clear gesso, which has a bit of a um, gluey 
it's kind of like uh it's almost like watercolor paper or something and has like a mm. tooth to it yeah so maybe this is yeah it's in line <laughs> so you're painting on plastic too which is sort of the opposite of oh the perforated the sheets mm -hmm. yeah yeah the smoothest yeah and those paintings are funny because it tends to be like one gesture and then i any more i think would kind of muddy it or mess it up i tend to really go through those like i lay out like 20 and just like mix my colors and like <laughs> play with gesture and then I am also like a heavy editor like I tend to throw out maybe half or 75% of my paintings um, in the dumpster they didn't work yeah I unstretch them roll them up and throw them in the dumpster <laughs> that seems sense tends to work better for me than um, working through the painting you know what mm -hmm. I mean um, yeah what about this face uh, it's coming together. I think I might be there. I don't know if I want to really? mess with it too much more. Yeah, I feel like we got to a good zone. Is this similar to how you do the paintings? Like, this was sort of fast, and you, like, just sort of did some stuff, and then <laughs> don't want to work into it too much? Kind of. Just, is Actually, this like... that's exactly how, yeah. I kind of, like, create a balance, or, like, there's, like, reactionary moments between colors and textures, and then you definitely have to walk away. Or I've learned that I will, uh, I tend to overthink. So I can't really, I'll maybe go back in occasionally, like maybe three sittings tops, but mm -hmm. yeah, then you gotta, there's something about the intuitive mind that I, I really enjoy. Like this not overly intentional mind. I think that's a good zone. I wonder if this would be a dumpster face. No, no, this is a keeper for sure. This is like a mantle face. This is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for this makeup job. I love it. Thanks. Um, there's just hints of pink, you know. <laughs> intermixed with the greens, mm -hmm. and um, it's definitely not a Tucson landscape. Yeah, yeah, it's otherworldly. Thanks for having us in your home and your studio. Thanks for having me. And thank you, Cece. <laughs> this has been Made Up. We'll see you next time. <laughs>